Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Sunday, December 16th, 2018. 29 degrees, 10, 11 a.m. I just crawled out here. We got hmm, 70 to 80 city, city chickens out on the wire. Elsie's down there waiting to probably try and catch one. She's probably going to try to catch her own breakfast this morning. We got Samuel here with me. Yeah, my Sammy. Look at that pretty boy. Come on. Come on, sit with me, Sam. Mikey's out there. You can barely see him underneath the crack of the door. Max went out and appears to be feeling a little better than he has been, but he's still not up to par, and I'm kind of kicking myself. I should have took him to the, the vet yesterday, too. There's the city chickens coming down to feed. There they are. We haven't done this in a while, I don't think. Ain't had time. Oh, boy. Else had a very good uh, A-plus on her her health yesterday. Her blood work was good. Her eyes, her lungs, her ears, her heart, lymph nodes, everything. She'd lost a little weight, which was good because she had a great big tank on her. And, uh, I was grateful for that. There's Mikey. Hey, Mikey. There's my Mikey. He wants to go back in. I love you, Mikey. Did you have a good adventure? Huh? Did you have a good adventure out there? There you go. You going in, buddy, or are you going to sit out here with me? Mm hmm? Come here, monkey. Come on, sit with me. Oh, when I wake up this morning, I just wanted to go back to bed. <laughs> Nothing unusual there, is there? But today I might drive out to Rockport and ride my fat bike. Right now we just got to get through these moments, this wake up. There's the city chickens coming down again. I just like that. The simpler, the better, you know? You want to buy me a present? Buy me a bag of bird feed and a candle. That's all I need. Look at those city chickens. Is Elle still down there? Is she going to go get them? Yep, she's, she thinks she's going to go get them. Maybe we, look at Mikey jumping up there. Look at Mikey looking at him. You gonna go out, go out there and get those city chickens, Mikey? Huh? Where's Mackie? There he is. Oh boy. I have some eggs and toast for breakfast today. Do some yoga. We'll do our readings. Um, yeah, well, I, I woke up at 6. It was about 6 this morning and couldn't fall asleep. And it was dark out and I didn't want to get back up. I had hoped to be able to sleep in real nice, get a good night's sleep, blah, blah, blah. Did else go after him? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I doubt if she's going to get one. I don't know. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. Anyway. Yeah, I got up at 6 and popped Casablanca on the DVD player and fell asleep for about an hour and a half listening to that and then came downstairs having a really twisted, bizarre dream about living at our old house on Lockwood Street and my brother John was in it. And There's this big garage where the Alexander's house used to be next door right on the corner and it was full of all these, well, there's four or five classic cars in it. And I was cleaning my mom's bedroom and then the neighbor was on the Fodgeman side was raking the apples where the apples came from I don't know but there were apparently an apple tree in our backyard and the apples were falling into their tree or into their yard and they were instead of picking them up raking them into our yard for us to pick up and go figure I don't know twisted yes just like me so, we're about ready to have our first cup of coffee, um, and we are going to pause. Maxie's coming in to have a cuddle with us, and that's a good thing. So, we're going to pause for now. Look at Mackie. Look at that, Mackie. You doing better, buddy? Well, he's being camera shy again. So, here we are. Look at Mike. He's up on his table over there. And Elsie's still out there. Or no, I don't think she is. And there goes the city chickens. There goes the city chickens. It's 
frost out there on the lawn, as you can probably see. So, very humid, very, very humid. And it's time for me to stop this ramble and cuddle with Max and have a cup of coffee and say some prayers. I'm still sitting here with Sam, and it looks like Mikey, or Max, it looks like Mikey wants back out again. Come on, Mikey. Come on, Mikey. There's my Mikey. Come on out, buddy. Mikey wants to go back in. Come on. Come on, sweethearts. You gonna go have something to eat, Max? You gotta eat, buddy. He threw up again last night. Oh, boy, other exciting news from yesterday. I guess, as I mentioned, my bell rang from 10 till 2. Saw Rodney and Sue at the bike shop. Tommy went to Arizona with Nikki. Uh, stopped at the Friendship Room for dinner last night, and there was a lot of uh, good food. Um, Leftovers from the wild game dinner. There was some buffalo gravy and uh, turkey stroganoff and stuff like that. And I, I used Mitch Hedberg's joke because they put the buffalo gravy on rice. I said, I like rice when I want to eat 2,000 or something, and it was going right over people's heads. But anyway, stopped at Marine Market, got a ring of Metwurst. Uh, read to the cats last night. That's about it. The usual dull, boring things that I do. I can't. I don't think I watched anything on the Kennedy assassination on YouTube, so I got away from that. Um, and I don't know what else to tell you. Today, as far as today goes, uh, on this day 23 years ago, and it fell on a Saturday that year, um, I had my last drink of alcohol. I was drinking rum and ginger ale. It's a pretty tasty cocktail, to be quite frank. And started a life of sobriety on December 17th. That was back in 1973. No, no, 73, what the hell am I saying? 1995 it was, 1995, forgive me. December 16th, 1995, I had my last drink of alcohol and stopped smoking dope shortly after that. I do believe I puffed a little pot one day, but it didn't do me any good, and it was just to kind of help me get through some, some shakes and stuff, if I remember right. Oh, boy. I do have to get out riding today. But we're going to take things one moment at a time. Make sure our loves are all right. Get some food in us, get some yoga done, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna make some eggs and grilled toast. I probably already mentioned that. My, my brain's going soft. My body's getting stiffened up and my brain is going soft. I guess that's what happens when you get older. And I'm thinking about stuff, you know, I'm 58 years old, I'm almost freaking 60 years old, I cannot believe that, where did the time go? And on that subject, I, I found out yesterday that someone, I didn't know that I'd went to go to school with her, but she died, man, and it was, it's like I thought I just saw her, but in July she had an aneurysm and died, someone that's my age, born the same year as me, went to school with me, graduated with me, and I'm like, wow just blew my mind to find that out so anyway we're gonna pause again sip some coffee and enjoy the song God singing us in the chimes and wait for Sam and else to come in Sammy's back we'll let him in look at him stuff in the coffee pot there you go there you go love Mackie's in there look at there's Mackie and we're just waiting on Elsie now we are just waiting on Elsie yeah. Oh, shit. Back for more. Still waiting on Elsie. And um, I'm probably going to run past the 10 minute mark today. But what the hell, you know, like my grandma used to say. I try to keep these videos shorter than 10 minutes or under. But I fail a lot. But while I was listening to Christmas songs on the Save-A-Lot playlist, 
I know I still haven't heard my depressing Christmas song that makes me laugh, man. I wish I knew the name of it. I don't. I want to find out. But, uh, man, I bet you I can't tell you how many times I heard what I refer to as the chipmunk song, the Beach Boys. I just don't like the Beach Boys, man. And that one song they sing just, ugh, it makes my skin crawl. Um, we did a recount on the city chickens, or we did a count on the city chickens, and there's 57 of them out there. Might have had a couple more sneak in. Other than that, I can't tell you anything. The coffee's tasting pretty good. Um, we're just going to let this day unfold slowly and not be in a rush to do anything. And I guess that's all we have for right now. Peace and blessings and have a great day.